Welcome to our second tutorial about the punch tool. In our previous tutorial, we learned how to use the existing eye features that Inventor comes with. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create custom punch features. We'll start with a rectangle, and now a center point. In order for the punch tool to work, the center point is a mandatory feature. Let's add a circle now. And let's dimension it now. Let's say 10 millimeters for the diameter. OK. And finish the sketch. Now let's activate the face tool. Let's select both profiles. Let's offset in the negative Z direction and click OK. Let's share the sketch that we created face one with. Right click, share sketch. And let's activate the Cut tool. We'll select this profile. You can reverse the direction by clicking here if needed. Let's click OK. Now let's go to Parameters. By the way, if you don't see parameters on your ribbon, you can right click anywhere, select Panels, and select Parameters. The list of parameters opens up. My diameter dimension I'm going to rename D1. Let's click Done. Now let's go to the Manage tab. Select the Extract Eye Feature tool. Let's choose the Sheet Metal Punch Eye Feature radio button. Select Cut 1. Under Size Parameters, we've got D1 and Thickness. Let's click Save. It saves inside the Catalog folder, Punches folder. Let's give it a name. We'll call it 01 underscore hole. Let's click Save. We get a prompt. The selected location is not in the active project. Do we want to continue? Yes. Now let's create a new sheet metal document. Activate the rectangle tool and finish the sketch. Activate the face tool now. Click OK. And we need a sketch now. We need a center point. Let's drop it right about here. Finish sketch. Activate the punch tool. Let's pull up the feature we just created. 01 underscore hole. Click open. And let's go to the size tab to make some modifications. We'll enter a diameter of 20 millimeters. Click finish. And here is our custom punch. This concludes our second chapter on the punch tool.